Hello everyone and welcome to CryptoDex. I'm really impressed with the Quaint Network. Now maybe you don't know what this is or you do, but anyhow, let's jump into Quaint and learn all about it. What's going on guys? Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to talk about Quaint and what this is all about. Before we get started on it though, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please, do your own research, due diligence, and don't invest in anything you're not willing to lose. They were looking at Quaint, the future of finance. Now, we hear this a lot. So, how is this different? This is actually giving intraprogal ecosystems and real-world solutions that enable new business and mitigate risks. So, how are they doing that? This is where it becomes interesting. They're using financial institutions like banks, investment firms, and they're harnessing the blockchain and exchange information with that. They're also working with enterprises, enabling companies, and operating in multiple markets to exchange information assets more securely. And they have different partners, whether you're a software vendor, in tech, whatever it is you're doing, chances are your clients are drawn to different benefits. And even if you're a developer, you can work with Quaint. So it includes everybody, people from the financial sector, people from the business sector, or people maybe even outside of that. That's why it's going to be interesting to see where it goes, because you can create value reduce costs, and mitigate risk. And that's essentially how you build a business. Also, the nice thing about this is payments. They have cross-border payments, whether it's in digital currencies or fiat currencies, more flexible and secure when it's handled over the blockchain. So imagine you're having issues with your bank, with Western Union, or whatever it is, or wiring. This is going to be a good solution. It's also a good solution for supply chain and trade finance, bringing clarity and certainty to areas such as procurement, logistics, provenance, customs, and payments, helping to make notoriously complex global supply chains much more efficient. And then there's insurance by removing intermediaries. Blockchain could completely transform the insurance industry with a wide range of use cases from optimization of existing processes to the introduction of new business models. And there's also digital currencies. Central banks across the world are investigating the adoption of digital currencies. CBDC, while well, commercial entities are issuing their own stable coins. So we'll have to see how this works in terms of balancing out the fiat and balancing out the crypto and how it works with capital markets and payments. But it's very interesting to see that they're utilizing the blockchain for all endeavors, and that's going to make finance and trading much more simpler. That's why they're exploring the future, and you can read all about what is going on here, how assets fit you for the digital age, introducing tokenized beta, transferring cost border payments in Latin America. This is going to be a pretty big one as well. And over ledger maintenance release. So you can read all about that. The nice thing is they've actually solved intro probability. What does that mean? They're reducing costs, access wider markets by deploying an app on any blockchain. So whatever blockchain you're using, cross chain, whatever it is, they're going to find a single multi-chain API. API simply in development terms means one thing that can talk to another. Like when you log into Facebook, you click that button, it's an API. This API can work with all blockchains, and that's going to be really useful. Um, they also have developers who are doing a lot of amazing things, like on Overledger, without specialist blockchain knowledge. They also have built this for different enterprises. So your regulatory institution, your financial institution, you're a different type of institution altogether. They have the financial infrastructure for that, and it is designed for the future. It's scalable. So this is the future of finance. Why I like this is because it's extremely scalable and it's going to be, in my opinion, a universal solution. Not just for blockchain, but also for fiat on all types of digital currencies. Even if you think about it, most of your currencies are digital. If you're walking around, you may have some cash on you, but the majority of it is in a bank or a financial institution. And you move it along probably with a card or a check or something else like that. And that's why something like this, wherein it's getting tracked on a blockchain, can be extremely powerful. So we can see Quaint Network right here, which we we're just on. On Coin Market Cap, it is eighty-five dollars thirty cents. And we can see what is going on in the market at different time frames. The nice thing about this is, is the intro probability. That's going to, in my opinion, keep it skyrocketing because people are going to decide, hey, wow. This has universal APIs, and this is solving problems for both fiat and digital currency in terms of making it more efficient. And because it's such a good market, they're going to keep using it and using it, and that will only push the price up. You need a good community, or you need something that's viable, a viable product or service to keep faith in what you're doing. And in my opinion, this does both. It's also on the Ethereum blockchain 
as well. Last but not least, let's take a quick look at Coinbase. So we can take a look at Coinbase. We can see the price here based on hour, day, week, month, year, and how it stacks up. And it also talks about what it is. You can take a look even at the white paper here on the official website, which we're just on and some of the news. To me, this is going to push the world of finance and the world of fiat and the, all into the blockchain. Why that's going to be good is because it's going to solve a lot of problems, including their APIs, which can communicate across all chains. And in addition, the other financial infrastructure they're building to work on different institutions is going to help. So I do see this being a prominent force, maybe even one of the most dominant forces in finance when it comes to this field. That being said, I would love to know your opinion on Quaint, Quaint Network. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this review, go ahead and smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to know when I post more videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, or you want to comment about Quaint, let me know down below. I'm really interested to hear what people think of this project. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next video.